all. But I can't help but notice. You managed to escape the furnace, and now you're stuck here. Unable to move an inch, while the other Heliobi are roaming around the Lafu enjoying themselves. Ooh, must be quite frustrating. <laughs> you want me to assist you and betray my own kind? I agreed to grant you an audience, not meet you in combat. <gasps> what? You refuse? You won't fight me! He comes here. After I demand a rematch, and won't even fight! Is he conceding that I already won? No, there can be no victory in this dream combat. Human logic negates it. <laughs> you must understand. I came for a rematch. <laughs> it's just that... You are not a worthy opponent. Oh my god, he really came in here and said no. Oh, okay. Just come up with some things. Damn. That keeps some ass right there. Yeah. Give it up. So what's Han you gonna do? Every few turns, Fiend Pile will appear. When a turn ends, it will cause the Fiend Pile to shift towards the top of the action order. So for Hanya here, she's got a brush. She's got her master stroke right here. Star Rail. So, we need to go find this fake Bio in the in Arum Alley. And man, I'm kind of getting tired of sitting in this chair recently. Oh, I haven't been here in a while. It's nice to be back in the old stomping ground. Well, for some reason, I feel like I just I feel restless today. I kind of just can't sit still. Oh, yeah? Since you're so familiar with the place, you can lead the way and conduct the interviews. Did I hear something from the peanut gallery? Look! Those two are wearing alchemy commission uniforms. They're probably looking for the dragon lady. Lady Bailu disappeared into thin air. They must be pretty confused. Remember, we have to keep our identity secret when we interview them. And don't mention anything about the Heliobi. People might start panicking. Don't worry, Judge Walha. Effective communication with the public is one of the basic skills of a Cloud Knight. Hello there. Judging by your clothing, you two must be healers from the Alchemy Commission. My name is Sushong. I'm a Cloud Knight soldier. Are you looking for the Dragon Lady who suddenly disappeared? Uh, even the Cloud Knights are getting involved? Did you file a report or something? Report? I haven't said a word to the Realm Keeping Commission, let alone the Cloud Knights. People would think we were crazy if we reported this. There's something fishy going on. How did the Cloud Knights find out? Uh, 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 good question. So, actually, we're affiliated with the 10th... Tenth... The 10th Squad! Cloud Knight Security Squad 10, to be precise! <laughs> We patrol the streets and respond to all kinds of unexpected incidents. It's grunt work, essentially. Oh, I can relate. We're no stranger to grunt work ourselves. Anyway, we heard about the Dragon Lady's disappearance, so we hurried over to see if we could help. I don't... I don't think... Is it me, or is it moments where we have, like, this one camera angle, and the characters are standing there. Didn't before their mouths didn't move at all, and now their mouths have started moving since this stuff with the Fixtral Garden? Oh, we know this Outworlder here. She's from the Astral Express. 
I've heard the Dragon Lady mention her before. She and I are best buddies. Well, it's great that you're all willing to help, but we haven't actually figured out what exactly is going on. I think I am about to eat a little peppermint as I uh, go through this. Uh, yeah. Just when we had her cornered, the Dragon Lady disappeared with a bang. And while we were chasing her, we saw two of her. It really is a mystery. I'm not even 500 years old yet. My eyes are as sharp as they come. Hmm. Maybe you're overworked. Alchemy Commission healers are saving people 24-7. I'd start seeing things too if I were that busy. As the face of medicinal mastery on the Sienjo, you two need to be living healthier lifestyles. Huh. You really give up we're up against. <sighs> After this is behind us, I say we take a holiday and get rested up. So where did you last see Lady Bailu? On that road there. And I swear I can hear a child giggling whenever I walk by. Must be the wind. Be sure to get some rest. We'll take over from here. Lady Bailu must have seen you and gone off to hide. But with her old friend here, maybe she'll be willing to come back out. Fantastic. Well, we'll leave you to it. Hmm. Huh. Lady Bailu! Lady Bailu, where are you? Lady Bailu, come out and play with us! Uh, why are there two of her? Huh, they're asking us to play with them! Bailu is just playing with another version of herself. Huh, silly head. They're trying to trick you. They're just gonna catch you and take you back! Ooh, I know. Let's play a game called don't let anyone catch us. <gasps> Run! Man, my ghost! <laughs> Seriously? That ghost twin was one thing, but your screaming nearly sent me to the grave. Uh, sorry, but seriously, I knew it was a healing of us, but seeing double Bailu like that sent shivers down my spine. You know, I know some people like the Japanese voice of Guinevere, because it's Marion Kitagawa from I Dress Up Darling. And I mean, it's one of the main reasons that I love Jingliu in English, because of the English voice of Marion Kitagawa. You, can, you know what, that's the funniest thing. You can literally have two, you can have a team, of, well, of just two voices of Marin. Anyway, I know that people like the JP voice and other voices because the American version has her being all raspy and stuff like that. But personally, I prefer, prefer it this way, and the voice actress is doing a great job. Like, I like this tomboy sounding version of her. It's okay, Miss Sushong. I've worked in the Ten Lords Commission for many years now, but I'm still not used to their tricks. How do we catch them now? Hmm, they're eluding our senses, but they won't have gone far. Uh, we just need to look around. I can hear laughter, but where's it coming from? Oh, no, I'm starting to get the heebie-jeebies. You can say that again. It seems to be coming from this room. <sighs> I'll open the door and take a look. Everyone, stay on high alert. But, I mean, Bible would be the one person to be having fun with herself. Huh? It won't open. Try to kick it down. It won't budge. Feet hurt. Strange. Is this also the work of the Heliobus? Hmm. They must know that we're following. And now that we know its hiding spot, it's time to use this. This is the Harmonic Chime. It's an item that the Ten Lords Commission forged to help deal with the Heliobi after the Fixtral Garden incident. Heliobi create illusions to isolate their victims. But if we ring this chime, our thought waves will synchronize with those of the Heliobus. As for how it works, uh, 
I'm afraid that would take the rest of the day to explain. In other words, we'll be able to enter the Heliobus's illusion? Exactly! Uh, but once we're inside the illusion, we'll still have to figure out a way to catch Luxie. You're the powerhouse of this team. We'll leave the door to you. I'm a jack of many trades with Master of None. Why, how generous of you. Uh, be careful not to hurt yourself. When you're ready, re we must capture the Baiwu. I never thought this would be behind the door. Oh man, not here again. Remember, it's just a Heliobus illusion. Hey, you over there! Release Lady Bailu! Ah, don't be a bunch of fun suckers! She doesn't want to let anyone take her away. Luxie! They came here looking for me. It's starting to get dark. Mm, maybe it's time for me to go back now? Ah, uh, Lulu. Didn't we say before that Lulu. we wouldn't let any grown-ups find us? And never let them take us home. Why? Why did you change your mind? Hmm. You're right. Grown-ups break their promises, but we don't. <laughs> That's right. Remember, if you ever get hungry, I can conjure up anything you like. Berry pheasant skewers, star taro bubble tea, you name it. We have it right here. Okay. Pick some right now. Not yet. Why don't we play a game first? You bad guys over there, okay? You're gonna be in the game too. Lulu, let's make a run for it. If we escape from them, I'll conjure up all of your favorite snacks and drinks. Wow! Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! We're free from the grown-ups! We can play all day, every day! Wait, stop! We better catch up with that Baiwu. I just want to play a little longer! What's so Damn, she going that? fast! Why do I have to live the way grown-ups do? Hold on. Grown-ups are always saying, study now and have fun later. But the grown-ups I see at the Alchemy Commission never have... That door over there is the only way out. We'd better close it. Go ahead and run. We're gonna get you. It's like Yakuza 3 all over again. <laughs> By the Orbiter, they sure know how to run. Uh, that's uh, the power of a uh, Heliobus. Catch your breath before you pass out. Let's, let's try a new strategy. I don't think we can beat them like this. We need to use our heads. <sighs> Su Shung's gonna use her head? <laughs> now we're really done for. I think I might have been waiting. I barely broke a sweat. Again? Good for you! But you should probably catch your breath first. They could hear you panting from a mile away. Wait! I have an idea. How about we use a little reverse psychology? Instead of chasing Lady Bailu, we get her to come to us. Are you serious? Does that little dragon girl look like she's gonna come running over to us? Chasing Bailu around like this reminds me of something I saw back home when I was a child. On my home planet, resources were scarce. And if you wanted to eat meat, you had to risk your life by going deep into the mines to hunt an animal called a sky mink. Sky minks fly so nimbly and are so alert that even the quickest of hands will have a hard time catching them. Did you get the meat? How does the story end? Gather around, children. Ugh, don't interrupt. 
Hear me out. The Sky Vink psychology is unique. It lives in symbiosis with a venomous creature called a shrieking lizard. When a sky mink goes out to feed, it lets the lizard protect its young. So we used to go to sky mink nests to catch shrieking lizards instead. When a shrieking lizard gets caught, it calls to the sky mink with a loud shriek to warn it to return to the nest and protect its young, which of course led the sky mink right to us. Sounds pretty smart. I'd hesitate to call it that. Shrieking lizards spew out a potent venom. Many people lost their lives trying to catch a tiny morsel of meat for dinner. N nice story, but what's it got to do with chasing Lady Bailu? Oh, isn't it obvious? If we catch one Bailu, the other will come running to us. I remember one of the judges had a precious item called a Lunambra Gourd, which could absorb and imprison Heliobi. Oh, come to think of it, I think that's the thing I smashed. I wonder if they fixed it. Actually, I have one with me, but it's only effective when the Heliobus is close by. Nice! In that case, you can take the gourd and camp out in a corner. The rest of us will chase Lady Bailu back over here. If we catch Lady Bailu, will Luxie really follow her into our trap? Do Heliobi really have a sense of loyalty to their victims? Who knows? Cirrus said that Luxie is kind of childlike. It's worth a try. The Lunambra Gourd is in place. If we can chase Lady Bailu to this spot, we should be able to catch her. Uh, um, be careful, okay? Doors locked. Can't come down this way, apparently. Shit. No, because I'd want her to come this way. her to go through so I gotta lock the one back here wait it's already locked what am I talking about well she's got to run back when she realizes she can't go through this door she's gonna go the other direction damn she can move She's gotta go through that door, right? What? Oh no, because this one did have a Did this one have a switch? So I do want her to go this way then. I thought I was gonna try and get her to go through the other- Oh no, she's gonna go through the other door if I lead her this way. She's gonna turn. I can't let her do that. Get back here. They really made sure they gave her the cutest running animation, didn't they? This world girl's got places to go. 
You're not gonna get away now. Go, Cat B, go! I don't wanna be locked in here! Lady Bailu, please calm down. You're not yourself right now. You're being influenced by a helio bus. You're lying! We never had playmates! Today I finally found one, and you guys are trying to take them away! No, I don't want to see Bailu crying. Aw, grown-ups are so mean! As soon as they see children having fun, they want to ruin it! <laughs> you like your boss. You're right. Sorry. Sorry. Careful. Don't let them manipulate you. <sighs> sure enough, they walked right into our trap. <laughs> I was considering letting you join the club and have fun with us. But since you're so determined to spoil everything, I'm afraid we'll have to settle our differences through violence. Yes, violence. The only language you grown-ups know how to speak, right? The one you use when you're telling us off! Oh boy. Yeah, I know, I know. I know how it works. You dare attack me! Suppress. It'll take more than that. Subdue. Man. We can't do this! Forward! Somebody help me! Unworthy of my tongue. Fleeting light. Roaring flood. Calm your body and mind. Caught in the web. By the tenor. Did I hear Ho-Ho saying tail help? Unscathed. A blade of moonlight. Yeah, you know nothing 90. of the weight behind this power. Witness. The stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Rules are made to be broken. All will be revealed in lunar flame. Seems you need to experience some hardship. I won't go easy on you. Mission failed. Yeah, how do you like that? Oh, I'm sorry, Lulu. The I can't play with you anymore. Oxy, we said we'd never go back with the grown-ups. They break their promises, but we can't. There's nothing I can do about it. Playtime can't go on forever, but we still had lots of fun. <laughs> Let's play again next time. There won't be a next time. Hua you know what to do. Luxy. How long before the next time we can play together? We both have many years ahead of us. So, in that sense, it won't be long at all. But for now, I have to leave with these grown-ups. All right, all right. Lady Bailu, it's getting late. You need to go home now. As the heliobus disappears, Bayou's eyes regain their clarity. She has retook control of herself. I... Oh, everything's so fuzzy. Uh, did I do something bad? No need to feel bad, Lady Bailu. You were in a dream world. None of it was your fault. But... But... I made everyone chase after me for so long. I... I shouldn't have done that. It's only natural to want to escape when strict rules are being forced on you. 
I know there are a lot of grown-ups trying to control you, telling you what you can and can't do. They're the ones to blame. I was ready to apologize to everyone, but now you made me forget what I wanted to say. Apologize for what? You know, you and me have a lot in common. I'm almost a grown-up now, but I still miss my childhood days and running about barefoot. My big brother used to boss me around. He'd give me chores, constantly telling me to grow up, that kind of thing. Then one day, I decided to rebel. I ran away to prove that I could get by without my family, and eventually settled on the Sienjo. Whether it's a dragon lady like you, or an ordinary person like me, I feel like many people's lives follow a similar trajectory. One day, you'll have the strength to leave your current situation and move on to the next phase. In the meantime, I suggest you try and cherish the good rather than apologize for the bad. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't want everyone to feel too sorry for me. <gasps> hey, did you ever think about joining the Alchemy Commission as a psychotherapist? Jeez, and there I was pouring my heart out. Now I feel like this kid's lived longer than I have. Um, uh, can we not linger around here too long? This place is really spooky. Uh, maybe we can chat somewhere else. Can't tell if those are bandages or rings. Most definitely gotta be bandages. Truth be told, Luxy didn't seem as evil as the other Heliobi we've seen. They sure made us run, though. If I ever have to run like that again on the job, I'm filing for workers' comp. Heliobi don't really fall under good or evil. They just act according to their desires and emotions. I hope the others will be just as easy to subdue. I had fun. I should go surrender myself to those two medics. They were looking so hard to find me. Wait! Huh? Uh, what is it? We're going to make a post about this paranormal incident online to attract more followers. It'll help us get more intel. Oh, I get it. We can't just tell the public that the dragon lady was possessed by a heliobus, right? So, uh, you won't mention my name, right? And we'll make up a headline? That's right! We want to report this incident like it's a paranormal phenomenon. The more exaggerated, the better. And then announce that it was solved by our ghost hunting squad. Then we add on a few photos and videos. It'll be sure to get lots of views. Um, that's great at all. But I'm not good at making stuff up on the spot. I heard that you helped Mr. Cian write stories before. You must be an expert wordsmith. Aren't you the one in charge of social media engagement? It's all a team effort. Come on, help me think of something. Sounds good. Let's have a think about it. Here's a picture I just snuck, uh, I just snuck for a post. That's a nice shot, but when did you take it? Ah, uh, don't worry about it too much. You people need to remember to take more pictures too, okay? More pics equal more fans. Next up is a little creative liberty. Am I right? Oh my god. A plain and simple retelling of a supernatural experience won't get any fans instead. Interested. We need to add a little pizzazz. The Ten Lords Commission also hopes to reduce the panic caused by the XCP Lulibi, so adding in some embellishment would be good. After selecting different post styles, we also need to receive different types of comments. I did not mean to choose breaking news, but I can change it. What's posted once you've selected the intended style? Wait a minute. Yo, wait, why is that breaking news? <laughs> why is that breaking news the exact same font and color that I use for my previously, you know, that I use for my thumbnails. 
Bro! I used that for my thumbnails! It's the, the emergence of space-time imperialism. Bro! <laughs> Who is this body double for Lady Baibu? Find out now! I'm gonna check out this cosmic horror that can duplicate itself. This one. Hello, world! Hmm... I say that's a good title! What does everyone think? Alrighty then, it's decided. I just find it very funny that that is the exact same coloring, exact same font, it's in all caps, just like how I do my thumbnails. You should go back soon, Lady Bailu. Those two medics have had a rough day. Okay, I'm going back now. Thanks for the rescue. Case closed. I never knew catching Helio by would require so much work. Definitely gonna start getting a little sick if I eat any more of these peppermints, so I better put them away. We're not done yet. Madame Hanya said that once we've subdued a Heliobus, we should return to Fixtral Garden and lock them inside the evil binding matrix's suppression towers. There's like four or five of those, ain't there? Uh, can't you stay and chat with me for a while? Hmm. Whoops. Anywhere, get in there. It's over. <sighs> now I can finally get some rest. But there are still lots of Heliobi roaming around out there. Oh, we can't rest for too long. I couldn't agree more. I don't even know what I picked. I'd rather focus on resting first. I need to wait for my heart rate to recover before I go chasing another Heliobus. Let's continue in a group chat. Cause every night I will save your life. 